I'm Tracy Baxter with today's edition of Record News Watch. When it comes to casinos in Sullivan County, there's been plenty of talk, but no action. That could be changing, with word that Governor Patterson and other federal and state officials will be coming to the county this Monday to sign a state compact with the Stockbridge Muncie Band of Mohegans for a $700 million casino on property off Route 17 in Bridgeville. Uh, the deal would have uh, the casino built by the developers of the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut in exchange for the settlement of the Mohegan tribe's land claim in upstate Madison County. Uh, the state will still need federal approvals before a casino and its estimated 2,000 permanent jobs could be coming to Sullivan County. Reporters Victor Whitman and Leonard Sparks so will have more on the deal and its potential impact in tomorrow's Times-Herald record. There is word of breaking news involving Orange County Choppers, the firm GE Commercial Finance Business Property Corporation, filing papers earlier this month in state Supreme Court to foreclose on the world headquarters of the Choppers in the town of Newburgh. The filing involves two mortgages uh, and uh, seeks to recover $12.5 million. More details on this developing financial story here at Record Online and in tomorrow's Times-Herald Record. Elsewhere, Town of Newburgh Police made an unannounced visit to a residence on Route 32 at 6 this morning, and they found what they were looking for. The man who they say was a major area cocaine dealer. 50-year-old Wilbur Grant was taken into custody during the raid that also netted police a quantity of cocaine. Grant has been charged with four drug-related felonies, including possession and sale of cocaine from the home he was renting. Newburgh Police Lieutenant Michael Clancy says a grant's arrest capped a four-month investigation. Well, as of late this morning, all the absentee and affidavit ballots had been counted at Orange County Board of Elections in Goshen, and Nancy Calhoun is the apparent winner in the race for the 96th District State Assembly seat. After all votes were tallied, Republican incumbent Calhoun had a 554 vote final vote margin of victory over Democrat Roxanne Donnery. The results will again be reviewed before an official winner is declared. Well, area utility crews were struggling today to restore electricity to thousands of customers left powerless by an overnight rain and windstorm that swept through parts of Orange, Sullivan, and Ulster counties overnight. More than 7,000 area homes and businesses were impacted as wind gusts of over 45 miles an hour brought down tree branches and power lines. Uh, the towns of Newburgh and New Windsor were among those hardest hit. Officials with Central Hudson and Orange and Rockland Utilities were hoping to have everyone back online by the end of the day. And it looks like a city of Newburgh property owners should be bracing for a hefty tax hike. An emotional city council work session Tuesday evening failing to produce any further cuts to a 2011 budget that includes a 41% increase in Newburgh's property tax levy. Department heads uh, told city council members that the elimination of more jobs would paralyze the city. Uh, city council has to have a budget in place by next Monday. The looming tax Tax hike and continuing financial crisis comes amid word that Newburgh was once again the state's most violent city per capita in 2009. And the owners of the Orange County Fairgrounds have made an unusual holiday season donation to the city of Middletown. This morning, city public works personnel were at the fairgrounds to assist in the cutting and transport of a 50-foot tall tree that will become the city's downtown Christmas tree. The Goethe family donated the tree, JHM Tree Service donated their tree cutting expertise, and the regional trucking company donated their transport services. The tree was taken to Festival Square where it will be adorned with about 1,500 lights that will be lit during a ceremony formally kicking off Middletown's holiday celebration. The event is Friday, November 26th, beginning at 6.30 p.m., and the festivities include a parade with Santa, who will handle the tree lighting honors. The sun was a welcome sight today uh, when it broke through the cloud cover after the overnight uh, heavy rain and high winds, and there's more sunshine in the local forecast. Tomorrow will be partly sunny with the highs in the low to mid 50s, a mix of sun and clouds again on Friday, and it'll be chilly 
with temperatures not expected to get out of the 40s. Make Record Online your source for breaking news and be sure to get a comprehensive look at all the day's news in tomorrow's Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.